We go. Okay, wonderful, fantastic. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, there is always something new launching that we just have to get our hands, or in this case, our noses on. But today I wanna to talk about some fragrances that have since lost a little bit of steam, if you will, when it comes to the fragrance community. People don't really talk about these much anymore, which is crazy to me because they all still slap. So yes, folks, today we're gonna to discuss some fragrances that I have in my collection that the fragrance community overall seems to have forgotten about, but I ain't, and I'm particularly excited to revisit these fragrances this spring and summer. Well, what's left of the spring, I should say. Now, most of these fragrances I've had in my collection for quite some time, and we've definitely discussed them on the channel, but a couple of these are relatively new, and I'm still getting to know them, so we'll deep dive into that in just a second. But before we get into today's video, you all make sure that you are subscribed, and be sure to hit that notification bell, boo, so you don't miss when I upload another video. Duh. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up because it really helps to support the channel. And last but not least, if you are interested in any of the fragrances that I mentioned here today, please make sure that you shop via any available links and or discount codes down below in the description box because they really help to support the channel as well. And you're going to buy it anyway. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm obsessed with you. I just love you so much. <laughs> okay. You're you are absolutely an amazing person. Now these first couple of fragrances that have been seemingly forgotten by the fragrance community that I absolutely love, I'm going to go ahead and group them together because one, they're from the same house and two, we have discussed them several times on the channel. I'm so pleased to announce to you guys that I'm a clean partner and the first couple of fragrances are our faves, Clean Reserve Skin and Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. We've talked about these ladies and gentlemen, theys and thems. Let's go ahead and talk about Clean Reserve Skin first. Here is a close up of the bottle. I don't know if my lighting's going to be very forgiving. There we kind of go. <laughs> I'll go ahead and insert a picture just because my lighting is too bright. This is one of my favorite Your Skin But Better fragrances. My lighting is gonna be too bright for me to show you a close up of the packaging as well, but they do come in this eco-conscious and sustainable packaging. And that's one thing I love about Clean as well. Everything down to the bottle cap. Everything down to the bottle cap, the packaging, all of that. It's eco-conscious and sustainable. So I can smell good without feeling bad about killing Mother Earth. You know what I'm saying? Love that for me. I don't have on a scent of the day. So let's go ahead and apply some of Clean Reserve Skin, which I have told you all countless times. This, in my opinion, is perfectly named. It smells like clean, fresh skin. Like you literally just stepped out of the shower. And maybe that simple, clean, effortless vibe is what makes this so sexy to me. You all that have been around already know how much I love clean reserve skin. It's perfect to wear fresh out of the shower. Like I said, I love to wear this to bed. I've worn this to the office, to doctor's appointments, etc. So if you're in the medical field or you work in an area where people are really sensitive to fragrances, or if you yourself are sensitive to fragrances, clean reserve skin is absolutely one I would highly recommend just because it's one that effortlessly smells good and isn't offensive. Of course, I overspray this like I overspray most of my fragrances and I get fantastic performance from this. For example, if I wear this to the office, I know I'm going to smell it at the end of the workday. Or if I wear it to bed, I know I'm going to wake up and still be able to enjoy this fragrance as well. For me, it's a fragrance that's just easy to wear. And like I said, it can layer. Speaking of layering, I love to layer Clean Reserve Skin with her sister, Sparkling Sugar. We're just, we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait for the lighting to adjust. A clean reserve skin, which I want to make mention that I'm getting washed up as I wave my hand through the air throughout filming this video, is categorized as a floral musk, whereas her sister, which was my first love from the clean reserve blend line, sparkling sugar, is categorized as a fresh gourmand. Now remember how I was telling you that clean reserve skin is great to layer with? I'm going to go ahead and layer sparkling sugar on top of her and first of all, thank me later. Second of all, now sparkling sugar, much like skin, is also fresh, simple, and clean. But I have to say that sparkling sugar is fresh, simple, and clean in a much different way than skin. It says it in the name. It's sweet, it's bright, it's refreshing. As the name may or may not suggest, there's an added effervescence and a sweetness that pairs with that clean undertone that just makes you smell like or well, makes me smell like candy. And I love that for me. Gives it a gourmand touch. And while you still smell fresh and clean, you also smell sweet and edible. And 
I ain't mad at that if you ain't mad at that. Another thing that differentiates these two freshies in my opinion is that sparkling sugar is definitely much less serious, way more fun, and way more girly than skin. If you've been following me here or any other platform, you already know how much I love these and how much I reach for these individually or layered all throughout the year, but I am especially eager to spend time with them this summer, especially now that I have the full 100 mil size bottles. You can grab these or other clean reserve blend fragrances as well as any clean classic fragrances from Clean Beauty Collective's website directly or you can grab them from Sephora whichever floats your boat. I do want to make mention that if you grab them directly from the brand you do have more sizing options available whereas if you go through Sephora I believe you can only grab the travel sprays and the 100 mils so you either in or you out. I have told you all unsponsored countless times how much I absolutely love clean reserve skin and sparkling sugar and I smell great and I'm going to continue smelling great with these two all summer long. Again this is clean reserve skin and sparkling sugar. Special thanks again to Clean Beauty Collective for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. Another fragrance that's been around for a while that I especially love to frequent during the warmer months that I don't hear many people talking about much anymore is this one from Armani and this is Ocean Du Jour and I know y'all see that dent okay now Ocean de Joya as you can see from the dent is one of my absolute fave freshies of probably ever I especially love it during the warmer months this does have a pear note which y'all know I'm a hoe for a pear note this is the most fresh juicy clean aquatic pear note and it just smells like you just washed your hair and went walking on the beach. And not one of them filthy beaches neither. This is one of those clean beaches where you can see straight through the water, straight through the bottom. I'm already planning on getting the 100 mil of this bottle because I absolutely love this scent and so does Mama Tresses. Now they just released an Aqua de Joya Intense which I picked up for Mama Tresses for Mother's Day and I enjoy that scent but I ain't gonna lie I would absolutely love to have an Ocean de Joya Intense because between Aqua de Joya and Ocean de Joya, Ocean de Joya is absolutely my favorite. Ocean de Joya is just a perfect summer scent in my opinion and I get fantastic performance. This is going to last me all day. Yes, I overspray. I overspray everything. But regardless, this is a freshie that I find performs exceptionally well, especially during the warmer months. I don't know why y'all don't talk about this one either, but I will absolutely be wearing Armani's Ocean de Joya all summer long. This next fragrance is actually one of my first big girl designer purchases and this is Machino's Gold Fresh Couture. I've actually talked about this fairly recently on a short or on TikTok or Instagram or something. But let's go ahead and get into this fragrance. This... Oh, it still smells so good after all these years. Listen, Gold Fresh Couture was baby Alexis's Valaya. Okay, this gives me a very similar vibe. It's fresh, it tickles my nose, it's clean, it's fruity from some peach. All this has some similarities to Valaya. I believe the citrus pear as well as the floral makeup adds some fruity clean nuances that are a little bit different and a little less refined to be honest than Valaya. But still very much a Valaya-esque fragrance in my opinion. This bottle has been good to me for many many years so it is just about done but trust and believe that this is a fragrance that I will always always have in my collection. Yeah. Again, this is Machino's Gold Fresh Couture. Next is another fragrance that is a classic, in my opinion, that's been around for years, but it's actually new to my collection thanks to Jack's Beautiful You here on YouTube, sending her love and light wherever she may be. This is Givenchy's Lancre D. And I told you all when Jackie gave this to me a few months ago that I wanted to get to know her. And I've spent some time with her this spring, but... I'm going to bring her into the summer as well. <clears throat> Ultra D just reminds me of everything I aspire to be in this lifetime. Just a beautiful, successful, grown ass, independent woman. This is a very beautiful and very mature white floral fragrance. So I think it's perfect for this time of year, but don't get it twisted. Because it's so heavy in the white floral department, this this can go left really quickly. So mine just sprays is all I'm saying. This is going to be a perfect Sunday afternoon scent. It can be good for brunch, weddings, baby shower, because we are in that season. 
this is going to be a fragrance that's going to be perfect for any of those occasions. Signature scent worthy. Now, I've already been spending a little bit of time getting to know Lingerie D this spring, but I'm going to go ahead and bring her into sundress season because it applies, okay? Givenchy is Lingerie D. Now, this last fragrance that I don't hear many people talking about is relatively new to my collection, and this is Tom Ford's Rose de Malfi. And you all may remember from a pretty recent fragrance haul that I picked this up at a discount just because it was like, why not? And I've been trying to wear this, but I have not been enjoying it. It smells like baby doll heads and a little bit of BO. Um, something about this one is just not right on my skin. But I don't want to give up on it just yet. I just want to see. I just want to see if this is going to be one that I keep in my collection. And honestly, it's leaning towards no. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try one more again. I'm going to try one more again. It's an easy pretty girl scent. But I want to spend some more time with it and see if it's one that's going to be a good fit for me. So stay tuned for that. Again, this is Tom Ford's Rose de Malfi. Well, folks, that about wraps up today's video. You all be sure to drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And let me know some of the fragrances in your collection that have been forgotten about that you plan on reaching for this summer. As usual, all of the fragrances mentioned in today's video are linked down below in the description box. On your way to watching another video of mine, Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please, please be safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.